hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word give it light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Highly exalted him and given him a name, an office that is above every other name. It says that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Is that in your Bible? Of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things under the earth. That includes things in your office. That includes things in your house. That includes negative things in your body. It says they will bow. At the count of three, I want you to shout. You are not holding a trumpet, but your mouth will be that shout. And as you shout, hear me please. The power of God is going to come on several people. There will be a massive deliverance in this place. Deliverance means that you are being separated from that which impedes your progress. It can be a spirit. It can be a condition. Are we together at the count of three i want you to shout let that sound get into the realm of the spirit and in the name of jesus there will be massive deliverance father we thank you that you honor your word this is the feast of fat things even with the spirit at the count of three every burden every yoke every power every altar that has tied down destinies and will not let you rise in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god your liberty comes right now. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be released now. Please bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, yokes break now. Yokes break now. Yokes break now. Yokes break now. Shake it back at Okate, Leke Te Bakata. Ah, an end comes to negative patterns, negative cycles, negative patterns, negative cycles. In the name of Jesus. Please, if you can bring them out very quickly, I want to pray for them. My God, negative patterns are breaking, negative cycles are breaking whether an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you please help to bring them out so that we can just redeem the time i'm still praying again i'm praying negative patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your siblings now it's coming upon you let that fire from heaven please bring them out right now in the name of jesus christ i declare an end to that oppression now an end to that oppression now i hope you are not silent you should be praying declaring by the spirit that an end comes to any and every captivity in my life by the power of the blood by the power of the blood this is a miracle service by the power of the blood the sound of mourning the sound of languishing must come to an end in the name of jesus another kind of sound the bible says the sound of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous was you praying every spirit that will not let you go tying down your destiny programming climates of disfavor right now in the name of jesus my god the power of god is coming on people right now i decree and i declare that spirit lets you go now that spirit lets you go now no matter how long you have been under that influence by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare your deliverance right now i declare your deliverance right now 
I declare your deliverance right now. Someone shout a loud amen. I declare your deliverance right now. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me the faces of people. And oftentimes I see this as I'm ministering to people. I will see a whole human being in the realm of the spirit but not see the face. The glory of a man is upon his face. Please hear me carefully. And when the glory of a man is covered, no matter what you are doing, it cannot find expression. I want to pray for a few people. I don't know what has failed your glory. Count of three, may that veil be torn and shredded to pieces right now. One, two, three, be delivered right now. 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 Shaleba Garus Gadiana Haskala Pratisi. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Prophesy. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen one more time prophesy to your destiny everything that was lost shall be returned unto me hallelujah there is there are two people i'm seeing here the lord is revealing to me let me just walk as the spirit of god is revealing to me there is a strong anointing for the evangelistic that is coming upon you this has been a passion in your heart right from when you were you were young and the power of god is coming upon you because the season your season of training is coming to an end and the lord is about to release you it's a strong anointing you know that many evangelists are transiting they are joining the cloud of witnesses already and the lord is working on a new breed of people that he's bringing I, I saw two people I, I'm, I'm sure that there may be so many connected but I'm praying right now Lord I don't know where those two people are in the realm of the spirit it can be male or female the first person to announce the resurrected Christ was a woman I decree and declare may that man to rest upon someone right now may that man to rest upon someone right now may that man to rest upon someone right now May that man to rest upon someone right now. Now please listen to me. The end time army. Please listen. The end time army. Madam, the anointing of the spirit is coming on you. That woman on green. I just saw light coming on her. And the Lord is saying he's bringing a season. Again, I don't know why God is ending seasons and opening others. A word can come for someone, but you can receive by faith also. In the name of Jesus, let every negative season come to an end. Now, please hear me. Please hear me. In this end time, as we prepare for the return of Christ, God's army, the formation of God's army, is threefold there is a tripartite formation of god's army that means the army will largely be the distribution of the army will be threefold number one the first dimension of the structure of this army would be the ministry of prophetic intercessors this is what will happen in the end time as i'm mentioning the cases those who are part of it this grace will begin to come upon you prophetic intercessors there are people who will rise men who understand the art of the altar please bring them out in the name of jesus this is the first formation of this end time army ordinary people who will access power with god they will pray the gospel over nations they will pray the gospel over territories young and old alike 
by the influence of the spirit and anyone here under the sound of my voice who has been anointed and is being recruited by the spirit to operate as a prophetic intercessor after the order of Anna after the order of Elijah may that man to wherever you are in whether you are in ministry or not in the name of Jesus may that man to fall upon you right now the grace to travail with prayer and fasting until revival breaks out across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ I have set watchmen upon your wall he says that they will give him no rest day and night until I establish Jerusalem again I'm declaring by the Spirit may that man to fall right now let it fall on men and women young and old number two the second category of this prophetic formation of the end time army listen to me are those who are sent apostolically into the seven mountains these are the ones that the bible calls sheep among wolves the jurisdiction of their function is in the cosmos itself hallelujah now hear me the secret of excelling as a sheep among wolves is the spirit of wisdom not just the wisdom of heaven even the wisdom of egypt you must understand the wisdom of egypt are we together yes moses himself with the mandate of the deliverer was sent to learn the wisdom of he said be wise as a serpent he's not just talking of a snake the serpent is the symbol of egypt that is the place where wealth resides that is the place where influence resides so there are people right now this night the impartation that is coming upon you it will not just make you a preacher on the altar it will make you a business executive and administrator at the highest level you are still part of the army it's not just preachers alone i decree and declare champions with the spirit of excellence like daniel may that mantle at the count of three as you shout jesus the spirit of wisdom is resting upon you are you ready now one my god two three shout jesus take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now grace to master the wisdom of egypt until you excel grace to dominate the cosmos by the excellency of the spirit Formation number one, prophetic intercessors. Formation number two, those that are sent into the cosmos to protect, to preserve, and to institutionalize the interest of the kingdom. Formation number three are kingdom financiers. Please hear me, I'm speaking to you by the spirit. You cannot be part of this army if you do not understand the prophetic formation. You must belong to one or more or all these categories to be useful in this end time while i sat at the rotunda i heard the dear missionary as he was talking and he made a statement that there are missionaries who are leaving the mission field you know why because when you study the life of cain and abel pastor shola Abel understood priesthood. He knew how to offer sacrifices, but he did not understand dominion within the cosmos. Cain did not understand priesthood. His sacrifice did not get to heaven, but the first person to build a city was Cain. And until that time, every time you see the sons of the kingdom they understand priesthood sacrifices to heaven but the wisdom of accessing cosmos and protecting and preserving the interests of the kingdom they are not taught because we think the only thing we are are priests the bible says we are kings and priests are we together When you read Genesis chapter 12, you know where Abraham got his wealth? 
as soon as he spoke with God, he had an altar with God, but he had to go to Egypt. Remember, he went to Egypt and Abimelech liked his wife and God judged. He gave him gifts and he left with Lot. He returned back to the place of the altar, but the wealth was not gotten at the altar. It was gotten in Egypt. So he says it this way, Prophet Haggai, he says, go up the mountain. He says, bring wood and build my house that I will take glory in it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are intelligent. You don't get wood from a mountain. You get wood from the forest. So this mountain he's talking about is not just your physical mountain. Satan took Jesus into an exceeding high mountain and from that altitude he saw the glories of the whole world. Is that true? And he said, bow to me and I will give to you. These are people who will command wealth and influence at a territorial level. But now with a kingdom mindset, the goal is not just buying cars and houses. The goal is seeing to it that kingdom come as a project does not fail under their watch. And let me tell you, it would take more than buying and selling to access that level of wealth. That kind of wealth is not an achievement. You are trusted with it from the Father of Spirits. I'm about to pray for men. I have seen this many times in my visions and it's consistent with scripture. When you talk about the mantle for wealth, it's not just bragging and saying I'm a millionaire for the sake of self-aggrandizement. Uh -uh. You've heard me say the name of Jesus is heavy. It will take resources to lift it up for the nations to see him. There are men and women here. This mantle is about to rest on you. This one is not just business savvy. This is some of you by reason of this mantle. You will inherit prepared blessings. And the purpose, listen. When Pharaoh is compelled to give you resources, it is because the temple will be built in the wilderness. Nehemiah. If the king gives you resources as a cup bearer, you suddenly become a millionaire overnight. Do not forget that the walls of Jerusalem is waiting to be rebuilt through your resources. For the kings to arise, for revival to return. For the kings to be born, for revival to return. Ali, Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, yo. Ali, Ali, yo. father i'm praying now my god this mantle is going to come on people some of you it will surprise you the level of wealth i want you to believe what i'm telling you father i pray right now here at household of david there are men and women that must access the end time wealth not for self-aggrandizement but for the purposes of the kingdom let that mantle access to the hearts and the treasuries of the nations access to the increase of the earth at the count of three i don't know where you are you may even be a man of god and your ministry is as a point where you need wealth more than the purity of heart it will take resources to move beyond that level i declare may that grace come upon you now get ready now one two three take that grace Take that grace. Business people, take that grace. In addition to the value that you provide. Captains of industry, take that grace. Mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth. In the name of Jesus Christ. By this time tomorrow, order of wealth. By this time tomorrow, order of wealth. In the name of Jesus Christ. The king's business requires haste and in this miracle service there are many people who are supposed to be doing kingdom activities at a national level but they are still struggling with school fees of children it's a distraction because the unit of destiny is time my friend this man come are you a man of god where can i pray for you father help this gentleman because I see God doing a very, very mighty work with you. 
do ministry with integrity and may God help you to be mighty receive this grace in the name of Jesus Christ I shift you to a new level even by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me can I tell you when it when we come we talk about issue of money most people like it but the reason is not kingdom the reason is that they are obsessed full of themselves wanting to prove a point God is not ready for all those kinds of things in this end time believe me when I tell you this there are certain doors that the wisdom of men cannot open it will take the father of spirit opening that door and ushering you into it that's why you will see ordinary people who should not be at certain levels but you will know it's God that brought them there By reason of this impartation somebody's eyes is going to be opened to see things that others are not seeing to access the riches and the treasures of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll there was a sound even in heaven and the elder said no stop that sound that's not the sound that we should be hearing in heaven the lamb has already cried that cry the lamb cannot cry and you cry again it says weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah even the root of david has prevailed he is worthy to open the book and unlock the seven seals the lord wants to turn your mourning to dancing i hope you know that most two of them are sounds too and to turn your sorrow to joy there is a sound of sorrow and there is a sound of joy they are both sounds but one is an unpleasant sound it's a sound that connotes defeat it's a sound that is an indictment on the integrity of god it says he that told you have asked for nothing ask that you will receive to the end that your joy may be full i'm going to pray for the sick shortly and we'll celebrate testimonies here do you know one of the ministries the Lord revealed to me and this is also true based on the Word of God as we prepare again to receive Jesus Christ the healing ministry in a dimension we have never seen will be restored to the body of Christ I know that we see healings here and there but I'm talking about the kind of healing that can shut down a system to say is this true notable miracles when the man at gate beautiful was healed they had to summon the apostles say no 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 no. that was not the first person they healed in their ministry but that miracle was too notable are we together when presidents of nations heads of government that the whole world knows about their predicament when they are healed overnight that one is no longer a healing it's a statement from his majesty i am still alive i am god all by myself believe me the healing ministry that mantle is still searching for faithful men faithful men it will take more than being a prayer warrior to access genuine healing ministry it will take more than being a fasting giant there is a level of death to the flesh even historically most people who carry the healing anointing did not live long there is a level a depth of consecration that a man must attain unto to carry and sustain the healing power of God listen to the various prophetic statements that are coming in the course of this service so that you will hear the one that is your own hallelujah historically most healing ministers don't seem to live long I have studied it for many years to find out why is that so Elisha died of sickness and yet the healing anointing was still in his bones a dead man to be sick and to be dead which one is worse and the person who was sick carrying the power of life he still died and a dead body touched his bones and jacked back to life 
Are we together? Every human being is given one body per lifetime. Nobody is given two bodies in one lifetime. You are given by God the gift of one body per lifetime. That means when Satan wants to terminate your the legitimacy of your function in the earth, what he does is to create a platform that brings a premature separation between your body and your spirit. You call it death. Are we together? And now that we've gotten to the point that we have built a pattern around what we call ember months, September, October, November, December, it seems like there is an onslaught of spirits. Once people get to this month, they begin to live in fear. They don't have the liberty to move around. Why? Because they feel that there seems to be a climate that is programming negative things. the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me very powerful song the same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me we'll sing it one more time and i'll begin to pray for the sick same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love, your love stay. That rescued the earth lives in me. Listen, why do we pray for the sick? We are not praying for the sick. Listen, healing is more than just the corrective ability of the anointing on a human body. There is a goal and an intent to healing. Are we together? When God restores the health and the vitality in the body of an individual, is his commitment to see you remain long enough so that the gift of your body that is the official host to your spirit will remain while you serve the purposes of God. The healing ministry is more than a man just displaying power. The healing ministry is more than pain just disappearing or someone on a wheelchair or crutch just standing up is more than that the healing ministry is a statement because this body has to be prepared and there is a level of deterioration a threshold level of deterioration that your body must not go under if it goes below it the spirit can no longer remain there and it will have to leave are we together many of you are here with medical reports every sickness in your body is death knocking at the door of your destiny it is true when jesus heals you have to understand the intent behind it like he's about to do right now oh i believe in the healing power of jesus i truly believe with all my heart not only because i have read it in the bible not only because i am a witness of the healing the resurrection power of jesus in my own life we're about to produce a sound of joy that comes as a result of the healing power of Jesus listen you don't have to walk away with any infirmity in this place tonight you can believe and receive even by the power of the Holy Spirit that Jericho of sickness most of us our resources and sometimes limited resources have been spent you know the woman with the issue of blood her remaining in that place was not her choice the bible says she spent all her earning that means the spirit of poverty rode on the back of sickness and dried that woman's finances please lay your hands right now i want to pray for the sick
I believe in the healing power of Jesus. When Jesus died and rose again, ladies and gentlemen, it was not a parable. This same Jesus whom we preach, the one who has been exalted today as Lord and Christ, is a healing Jesus. Believe me when I tell you that he heals. The kind of healing that now becomes verified scientifically. Are we together? You are sick in your body or you are standing for a loved one. Now is the time to be healed. The gentlemen here, thank you for coming. I'm going to speak over your lives right now in the name of Jesus. My friend, shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare everything in your blood that needs to be cleansed. I declare cleansing right now. And I release that anointing upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. And for everyone here, I decree and declare let it be a new season for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. Now here's what will happen. I'm going to pray for you. And the moment I pray for you, the power of God is going to come upon you. The anointing of the Spirit can correct. That means you should not be surprised that a condition that you know, a growth, a tumor, eyes that cannot see or cannot see clearly, ears that could not hear or could not hear clearly, maybe you are in a crutch or wheelchair, whatever it is. I want you to know and to believe that Jesus heals. A miracle is a supernatural occurrence. Just like you do not know the way of the womb, the, the wind, or how bones are formed in the womb of her who is with the child, so also you do not know the ways of God. There is a there is a dimension of God's the dynamics of healing that cannot be explained. Hallelujah. And so as I pray for you right now, I want you to receive. And the moment the power of God touches you, I'm going to ask you. To check yourself the moment you see that the healing power of Jesus has touched you I am going to request very quickly I know that there'll be several people inside and outside for those who are in the overflow when you get healed and you need to come in just let the ushers or anyone know that you are coming to testify and I'll request that you come and stand at my left or my right there'll be a few pastors here who will examine you will take a few testimonies and then I will now begin to speak over other issues and will do the impartation. Tonight is your night. In the name of Jesus, you will not live here the way you came. To the glory of the name of the Lord. Are we together now? And for those who are watching by way of television, you're watching by way of internet, whether it's from Europe, America, here in Nigeria, you can connect right there in your home or wherever. The power of the Holy Spirit is present even to heal. Heal and deliver in this place. Heal and deliver in this place. Heal and deliver in this place. Have your way. Heal and deliver in this place. Heal and deliver in this place. Heal and deliver in this place. No one, Jesus, there is no one, darling. There is no one, Jesus, there is no one else like you, for you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are
holy are you lord god almighty worthy is the lamb worthy is the lamb you are holy holy be so tonight. Amen. Amen. Please place your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you. You reign. 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 You reign, Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. I worship you. The Bible says, when the evening was come, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were possessed with devils. You can stand connecting to someone. I'm about to pray right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. You can stand for your children, you can stand for your loved ones, you can stand for a colleague in office. Go ahead. Lay your hands and I want to pray for you right now. The elders and angels bow. The redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord for you are glorious and worthy to be praised you are the lamb upon the throne and on to you we lift our hands in praise. You are the Lamb. Mm. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Sing it one more time. Lift your hands, lift your voices. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Ah. You are Yahweh. Why 
You are Yahweh. Alas, alas, koprandishia. You are Yahweh. Healer, Omega. You are Yahweh. Lifter and Omega. You are Yahweh. Restorer and Omega. You are Yahweh. There's such a mighty presence of the Spirit of Grace right now. The healing anointing is moving from place to place, from person to person. His majesty is resting upon the lives and the bodies of God's people, bringing healing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, as I pray, I want you to shout a loud amen as you receive. My God, miracles are happening already. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of infirmity, I decree and declare by the sound that we raise, the sound of the name of Jesus, the sound that exalts Jesus, the crucified, who is now Lord and Christ. I declare that you leave the bodies of God's people now. Leave the bodies of God's people now. In the name of Jesus. I declare be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes open right now. Whether partial blindness, complete blindness, be healed now. Bone conditions be healed right now. Joint pains in the body be healed right now. Everyone with any growth, my God, growth, growth, the Lord is healing growth right now. I command lungs to disappear. I command growths in the body leave now. I just saw fire leave my hand and I know that it's melting and burning something that is in someone's body. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Migraine headaches be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Pain at the right side. Pain at the right side. The Lord is healing someone with it. In the name of Jesus Christ, pain at the right side. I'm still saying it. I'm feeling the pain as I'm talking to you now. The power of God is coming upon that person right now. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. We're still praying. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim, Ruach Elohim, fill this place. There's someone you have severe pain, just back of your head. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is touching you right now. Right now. Even though I'm praying for the sick, the Lord is showing me someone almost every night you sleep, you keep seeing dead people. The power of God is coming upon you right now. That covenant with the dead is broken because it has resulted to sickness. You wake up from that infirmity and physically you start feeling sick. In the name of Jesus, be delivered right now. There's someone, your left hand, I don't know, it's like you cannot lift it or there's pain and heaviness. Be healed right now. Just this side that I'm pointing with my hands, the left side of someone's neck. For whatever reason, you've had severe pain and discomfort there. The Lord is healing you right now. Liver problems be healed now. Holes in the heart be closed supernaturally now. Genotype issues 
in the name of Jesus we change your genotype now HIV be healed now cancers be healed now all blood related diseases be healed now there's someone your your feet your left your left um under now you feel like there's fire literally it's as if you're stepping your feet on fire this happens especially when you wake up in the morning the power of god is touching you right now i hope you believe in what god is doing here in the name of jesus be healed right now the lord is showing me someone you have i don't know if it's an allergy but you know what we call mumps that that thing that that makes one side of your face protrude that is not your condition however you experience this once in a while and sometimes your eyes will swell you wake up and your whole face is swollen it will go down eventually but it still comes back again the power of God is healing you right now the power of God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus Christ and please don't be embarrassed I'm praying for someone now you have a urinary problem you can ease yourself so many times it can almost embarrass you if you don't run to the bathroom you can actually start easing yourself you know in the presence of people and sometimes it almost happens unconsciously this thing has embarrassed you you are here in the name of Jesus I decree and declare right now you will know you are healed by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed now be healed now be healed now hallelujah I'm seeing in my vision a lady who is walking and feeling dizzy and I'm wondering what is the cause of this dizziness and the Lord is revealing to me that this lady is almost as if you have your circle two times in a month it's not a regular um, occurrence you've gone to the doctors and they've spoken to you about it and it can embarrass you because it comes anytime you are in this place right now in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know where that person is but I am praying for you right now the power of God is touching you right now whether I mention your case or not I decree and declare someone with pile someone with pile I'm seeing someone with painful pile the Lord Jesus is healing you right now the Lord Jesus is healing you right now there's someone you have a daughter this is what God is revealing to me the daughter is a teenager but they are already saying that they found lungs on her breast this is a young lady who is not even an adult yet and the Lord is speaking to me that he's healing that girl right now in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed right now 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 from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet the Lord is showing me many people who have been healed of high blood pressure most times when God reveals this to me I start seeing a thermometer going up and down and I'm seeing it right now as I'm speaking in the name of Jesus I don't know who has suffered for some it is a pattern in the family it's like all the men especially are, are trying to manage high blood pressure in the name of Jesus I declare be healed now there is a family here your mother's leg is beginning to rot is beginning to rot it's like they this is a situation they say she has matched you know how we say that she has matched something and and, and it is it's a demonic thing some a projection on her leg and the leg is beginning to swell almost as if no no you don't that's the woman don't worry mama just stand where you are the power of God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus every demonic thing when I'm done praying you will check yourself now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now the Lord is showing me in fact I'm seeing two people but particularly just using one person 
um, you woke up in the morning and you found out physically your hair was cut physically I'm not talking of a dream like it, your hair was scraped physically you saw it it was gone and from that time it's one sickness after the other in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you now be healed now be healed now now I want you to check yourself check yourself right now some even while you were under the anointing you found out that the power of God has come upon you wherever you are inside outside I want you to boldly make your way can we have a few pastors who is standing here let's have one pastor here God bless you and one pastor here so that you make your way now check yourself everybody the mama that could not do what she could do check yourself everyone check yourself you find out that there is a miracle right now my God people are already coming are you celebrating what God is doing check yourself right now and the moment you find out that you have been touched make your way to the front very quickly make your way to the front very quickly household of David is this how you celebrate the hand of God look what Jesus is doing look what Jesus is doing look what Jesus is doing let's celebrate them they are still coming check yourself mighty God that is the same way men will celebrate you that is the same way men will rejoice with you that is the same way doors will be opened for you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God that is the same way you will experience liftings that is the same way the sound of joy the sound of rejoicing you will keep hearing it it will not be far from your tabernacle in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now i want you to be seated for a few minutes we'll take a few testimonies and when we whilst we take these testimonies we're going to have a two minute moment um we didn't have the privilege of writing our prayer request but you are going to be verbalizing your prayer request whilst you are seated and then when you stand up you know we pray together we we'll join faith and pray and agree with god that everything that has moved god in your life producing a negative sound in the name of Jesus that the Lord himself will sort your life in a way that will surprise you are we in agreement God bless you yes sir she's the woman you spoke about you called her kiss yes I saw her there how, how long what happened to her mama his leg is pain yes and for how long has it been ma six years who came with her who is her son or someone how long has she been in this condition my friend six years um, no you don't have years. to give him the mic just just move the phone, sir. what happened what led to it but i think um it's not it's not her reason okay that's all right if i answer the question praise the lord mama can you walk now go ahead walk Walk. Walk. Look at this. You can see you can see this one. Walk. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare perfection. Are you seeing what God is doing in Mama's legs? Literally, the thing was bent. Oh. You can turn back, Ma. You can turn back and rejoice. Let's encourage Mama. Let's celebrate her. In the name of Jesus Christ perfection for you you will not be grounded on a stretcher in Jesus name we decree and declare supernatural perfection in Jesus name yes please let's celebrate Jesus go ahead um, while we were hearing the name of Jesus I, I heard a pop in my left ear can we have ear. a bit of volume on that mic please help us out I yes. heard a pop in my left ear I've been having my hearing a been, pop in your left ear yes yeah, been okay. deteriorating over the years okay but today it even sounds clearer than my which one your left ear look at this while we were shouting the name of Jesus there was a pop in the name of Jesus 
perfection for you, my friend. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Let's celebrate him. Sir, he's the one who you said had a pain. A pain? The your hand was on the neck yes uh-huh so as you said there is a guy that has a yes i moved my hand check yourself now any pain gone completely you see what is happening here right now is not just a healing god is using you see the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy are we together that means if he can heal a sick body he can heal a bank account if he can heal a sick body, he can heal a condition. Healing is not just limited to bodies. Are we together? Go ahead. Yes, sir. Both of them, neck pain. Neck, neck pain. pain. Gone. Both of them. In the name of Jesus, healing and perfection for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. She's the pillow. Also pain. Very serious. Also pain. Also pain. Yes. For how long, my dear? It's been, I never knew till last day that I took him. The thing now started paining me. Four days after, I lost the baby. So, and I went to hospital. They told me that I have also. So, I usually feel that pain. There's this drug that I'm taking. I thought I was healing it. But when you now mention also, I have it for. I have it for. I've you never, have I've never fallen down for the first time in my life. I used to okay, see myself as, fall under yeah, as a strong person. So it, immediately, when you now mentioned the ulcer, the thing, I wasn't feeling the pain when I came. Let me mention that ulcer. The pain now did like as if it's a cramp. Boom. So and I heard the thing now, now, now told me I fell down. Come. Have you had a baby since that time? Do you believe in Jesus? Come. Blessed is she that believes. The Bible says. For unto her there shall be a performance. My dear, I want to pray for you. Ah, this power of God, man. Now you look at someone like this. When she left her house, pastor coming to church, she believed that God was going to touch her. How she did not know. She just knew that the sound of mourning would change. You can imagine because of this demonic thing now, she's lost her baby. And now you're trusting God. When did this happen? Don't cry. June last year. And so it's one year after and nothing has happened. Please stand up. Congratulations. You have seen the glory of God. Congratulations. He has done it. Help me. And you will come back with a new song to sing. I'm prophesying to you. Congratulations. We are changing the sound. I stretch my hands. Place your hand on your stomach, my dear. In the name of Jesus, go and prepare for a baby boy. I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Let it be so. Receive it right now. My dear, go back home and dance to this song that we sang. This song bar, worship team prepare. I think we're going to, this song just fired my spirit again. When it's time, look, those outside are even rejoicing more than those inside. Hallelujah. When we take a few testimonies and we're ready to answer the prayer request, the so worship team, please, you will help me. That congratulations song, you must receive it as the sound you will leave this place with tonight. Congratulations means you have done well. Congratulations means the battle is over and you won. Are we together? Yes, sir. Um, praise the Lord, church. Okay, um, so um, I've been having this um, um, serious breast pain like for weeks now. I had a dream. Um, Sometimes last month that I had um, a breast cancer in the dream. So waking up, like few weeks, I started feeling pain. Yes, like and that same breast then. And what tonight, happened now? And tonight, like the pain is gone. is gone. The pain is gone. We, we like, stop cancer. We cry. rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. I'm using her to pray for anyone here who the devil is threatening you with cancer. It will not happen in Jesus' name. 
May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We may not, oh dear, there are so many people. Let's just hand pick a few, maybe three, four, and then um, so that we'll just rush. And then I, I really want the general prayer because that is where everybody gets to receive something. Yes, sir. So she has a musculoskeletal condition on this part of her body. Okay. And then she also had a pain on the neck. And then I was told to go and look for a musculoskeletal specialist. And we don't have any in Nigeria. When you were praying, I noticed that the pain in my left neck left. And then the musculoskeletal condition in my left Check shoulder yourself. also left. Gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Go ahead. Yes, please. For about nine years now, during my service days, I was sick, I fell at the time. Then I've been having this chronic back pain to my neck. There's still a very big, um, like a bone at the back there. So before the prayer started, even for the neck, I held it. I said, God, today, now today. Then I also removed my eyeglasses. I mean, in fact, I just collected my eyeglasses yesterday again. I removed it and I said, God, I must, I must, I must see clearly again. Immediately I said that prayer, I was feeling some watery stuff in my eyes. And I looked at that thing in the road, I was able to see clearly sound of trumpets. Ah. Congratulations, you have seen the glory of God. Congratulations. And you will come back with a new song to sing. God is good, oh. Congratulations. I'm not talking to him, oh. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. That's how everybody will celebrate you. Come back with a new song of praise. My friend, healing in your eyes, healing in your neck, in Jesus' name, it remains permanent. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay. For about 10 years now. For about 10 years. I feel nothing on this finger. I had a fan cut when I was in the university. So if I'm clapping, this thing will be shocking me. You don't feel anything? I don't feel anything, yeah. For how long? For more than 10 years now. Can you imagine that? Yeah. What happened to you? So, a fan, in fact, this guy still... A fan caught you? Yeah, they say it has caught the vein, so it's not connecting here again. Oh, the vein does not connect? Yeah, so if I'm so clapping... So you, you are clapping and you don't shocking, feel anything? It's shocking me. It's be shocking me. And what happened now? Right now, I feel... Ah... Look at this. That is how God is connecting you to your destiny helper. No matter how long. Connecting you to your helper. Connecting you to your lifter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? It looks like a very simple miracle. Ten years. You will come back with a new song of praise. God. You must come back with a new song of praise. God. That's right, that's the sound. Congratulations. Ah. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've seen the glory of God. Congratulations, he has done it for you, and you will come back with a new song of praise. God is good, and you will come again with a new song to praise. God is good, oh. Congratulations. Can we take two more? Yes, go ahead. 
I hope you are prepared with your prayer request. Okay. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, is it not in your Bible, ladies and gentlemen? It said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and that even the heathens testified. He said the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. He says, whereof we are glad. Then he says, turn again our captivities like the streams of the Negev. That they that so in tears, the Bible says that they will return. Ah. So look at what is happening outside. That's. Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. God bless you. So, um, coming to service this evening, I was having this pain at my lower abdomen. Yes. I started observing it this, this year, and by the time it got worse and I got to the hospital, they told me it was ovarian cysts, and at that point, I had to do an operation, and I said I didn't want to do operation. And the doctor was like, that's the only option I have at that point. Okay. So I went home, I told my dad that it was like, I told him I don't want to have an operation. He's like, okay, it's fine. We'll just pray about it. And I kept going for checkup after. So um, the pain at the point when I kept going back. Yes. Um, the doctor said I was like, the, it kept reducing until at the point it was insignificant. That I didn't have to do the operation. Again. But then later it came back because the doctor told me. That it's likely to come back so okay. it came back and coming to service and for a while i'll be observing it but i didn't want to go back to the hospital so i had to pay in service so as you said we should lay our hands on where um we're having our pain so i laid my hand there and i seriously prayed that this time around like it will be gone and i won't have to it won't have to resurface again and i also have ulcer which i've had for like a very long time i'm not currently having the pain but I'm, i also believe god that completely in the name of Jesus, your miracle is permanent, my dear. It never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. My God, what will happen is that since we may not have the time to take all of the testimonies, but I would like to hear the testimony of that woman, that elderly woman. Is it possible? This woman, is she standing for testimony? Please verify for me just to honor her. I think she's an elderly woman. If she's been healed or something, let, let, let's, let's just hear her testimony yes is it for healing did she stand for healing verify okay so let's just know what happened to you madam good evening church um my health i'm not elderly I'm oh I'm, my apologies um, my health has really been um, back and forth for a while and um, we trust in god for so many things and i've had so many issues in the midst of it all, I lost my elder brother, so I broke down completely. So after that, I, I've been very ill to be back and forth. But at the time, my marriage was having so much challenge, so it was just all compact of issues. And when during the service today, in fact, from Tuesday, I've not been out of the house. This is the first time I'm coming out of the house for like a week now. I just said, I saw the program online. I said, I have to be here. I managed to come. So when pastor was ministering, he said, you woke up and you discovered your head here was bald. And I, I, I remember that I woke up and I discovered my hair here was all gone. I thought it was the trying to get pregnant, the treatment, and all other things that was getting to me. Then I said, yes, I remembered all my hair here was born and I started anointing it for it to start growing back. And immediately he said it, I just raised my hand and said, Lord, I must not go the same. And from that moment, fire came down from my head. And all the, all the pain, the pains I've been having here. Everything is gone. They are all gone. Jesus, something special, supernatural about your name. Jesus, Believer 
because let me tell you why we celebrate every manifestation of the hand of God every body on earth the price for that person is the blood of Jesus are we together now you look at this precious lady this woman something happens your hair that represents your glory is gone and you start having problems marriage this whatever everything just goes haywire and you come for a conference like this seated quietly and god locates you and that's it the power of jesus i'm praying for you not only for your body but respectfully speaking for your marriage and every other thing whatever has produced a negative sound from your life in the name of jesus we agree at the church of the lord jesus christ find rest find rest rest round about i'm prophesying it to hand that applies to everyone hearing me find rest in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you the lord bless you now for sake of time for everyone please when it for as long as you have come out it's important that you do well even if after the service to meet someone so you can write down um, your testimony so that the man of God and the leadership can know that this is what the Lord did in this conference but I pray for you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God perfection this miracle remains permanent in your life to the glory and the praise of Jesus in Jesus name I pray God bless you is it all right if we pray for two minutes now here's what we're going to do we're going to sing that song congratulations again even if it's just for one or two minutes after that listen to me we are going to shout halal yeshua what you know as hallelujah seven times it's going to be a loud prophetic shout the moment that happens you are going to begin to pray over your needs and your request we'll be releasing our faith with you here listen for as long and, and by the integrity of the Lord Jesus Christ, the moment we begin to pray, I want to assure you that every mountain, every Jericho that has surrounded your life, it must drop down. Is someone ready now? Just for two minutes, and then we are ready for hallelujah seven times. Go ahead. Congratulations to let's stand everyone ah someone is about to testify Joshua chapter 6 please give us verse 16 then we go to verse 20 we're about to shout seven times and it came to pass 616 Joshua it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet Joshua said unto the people shout for the Lord has given you the city verse 20 so the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpet when did they shout when the priest blew 
the trumpet and it came to pass when the people had the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout the wall fell down so that the people went up into the city every man straight before him and they took the city listen this is not an ordinary shout you are not just shouting this is not a pentecostal gibberish the trumpets that you have now is the time to bring it out we are going to shout seven times prophetic times you don't have your trumpet don't worry you can shout hallelujah some are shouting hallelujah some are blasting the trumpet listen i want you to put your prayer request before you that which needs to change you are going to shout at it you are going to say hallelujah at it i will prompt you are we together together as a worship team will do it seven times and after that you'll pray in one minute and i'll speak over you are you ready now father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that as we shout let every mountain let every jericho let every negative circumstance there are people with their prayer requests already lifting it up before the lord are you ready now number one say hallelujah Hallelujah. Number two. Number three. Number four. My goodness, I sense the anointing. Shaba lakatapatos. Kebrakatekatos. Number five. Get ready now. At the seventh shout, you begin to blast in tongues and pray. Number six. Are you ready for number seven? Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? Before the Rubabel, thou shalt be great plain. Number seven. Every mountain you go down. 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 Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, I decree and declare it's a new sound coming from this family it's a new sound coming from this church it's a new sound coming from my office coming from my altar coming from my children is someone praying outside pray inside pray someone is praying don't be silent don't be silent now you are praying you are releasing your faith every oppression you come to an end in the name of jesus shame and reproach you come to an end by the power that raised christ from the dead pray for your ministry man of god it's time to rise producing a new sound pray for your business pray for your work with god pray for the program of god on earth someone is praying one minute we're praying shalakatapakatosh pray for household of david it's a new season a new sound right from here to the nations of the earth through the airwaves hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Now unto the one upon the throne. For he is God alone. For he is God and God alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Now unto, unto the one upon the throne. We raise the sound. We raise the sound. For he is God and God alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you prophetically. Welcome to a new season. I stand upon the grace of the man of God and his wife and I declare household of David welcome to a new season in the name of Jesus the sound of mourning the sound of shame the sound of languishing the sound of defeat the sound of discouragement comes to an end now we raise a new sound a sound of prosperity a sound of increase a sound of righteousness a sound of speed a sound of restoration a sound of laughter in the name of jesus christ for some of you right here before you get home tonight in the name of jesus the son of the living god your testimony will be waiting for you The Lord is lifting you. We're wrapping up. And I am strong when I am on your shoulder. You raise me up. And I am strong when I am on your shoulder. You raise me up. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Everything God has told you in your lifetime, you will see it come to pass. Let me shake unbelief. Everything God has told you, provided your spirit received it in your lifetime, you will see it come to pass. Everything God has told you, I'm prophesying to you, that in your lifetime, my God will make you see it come to pass. If he says you are lifted in your lifetime, you will see yourself lifted. If he says you will laugh in your lifetime, you will laugh. Do you believe this? When God speaks, He speaks because there is an ability behind His word that compels what He has said to come to pass. Hallelujah. If you ever hear God utter a word as a revealed word to you in your spirit or on the strength of the, an encounter with Scripture, you must know that at the back of all the speakings of God is the power to bring it to pass. He says, blessed is she that believes. For unto her, it does not just stop at believing, there shall be a performance, not of everything, but of those things that were spoken by the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
tonight I want to encourage you. It's an unusual service. Shake away unbelief. Don't come and waste your time spectating. Don't come and waste your time doubting. Will God touch me? Will he visit me? And don't just come to clap for others as wonderful as that is. Let there be an insistence, a holy anger, and a determination. Lord, something must happen to my life today. Lift your voice and pray. Something must happen to my destiny today. Someone who is serious with God, pray. Someone who is determined to leave this place rejoicing, pray. Someone who is angry at the reign of darkness over your life, pray.
There is a river that is flowing in this place tonight. I saw this vision while I was praying. Now I'm seeing the vision again. It's a river that was in Ezekiel 47 flowing from the east side of the temple, flowing to destinies, flowing to lives, flowing to businesses. The river that flows from the throne, bringing life to everything that has died, bringing life to every dead organ, bringing life to every dead cell, bringing life to every dead business, bringing life to every dead destiny. Hear ye the word of the Lord, that which was dead comes alive now. 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 Dead organs, they come alive now. Dead businesses, they come alive now. Dead destinies, they come alive now. Dead prayer lives, dead passion for the things of God. Hallelujah. presence of God is mighty even in this place you are not wasting your time immersed in his presence immersed in his glory that is where miracles happen that is where signs and wonders happen that is where transformation encounters happen let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. It's our prayer tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Ah. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth.
if you're here and you're using a stretcher or you're using a walking stick you cannot walk stand up and begin to walk now stand up and begin to walk now begin to do what you could not do now begin to do what you could not do now begin to do what you could not do now begin to do what you could not do now there's someone you could not move your hands it's like you had a problem I want you to begin to move those hands now. Move your hand, do what you could not do. The healing power of Jesus is already touching people. Touching people in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone you are following online. You have a problem with your neck. I don't know, it's like you have the neck bracelets. In the name of Jesus, begin to turn it left and right left and right the power of god is upon you right now in the name of jesus christ 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 now i want you to bring out before we sit down all those that the power of god will come on now i will tell you what the impartation is for and then that grace will rest upon them and then will be seated this is holy ground and if you come here you must come believing you must come expecting hallelujah whilst the worship team were singing about restoration i heard loud in my spirit and i will restore Store. Now I know that this applies to everybody but there are specific families that God wants to visit right now and the power of God will come on them I want you to bring them out right now in the name of Jesus every family that has been ordained for restoration by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare may that grace rest upon you now Please bring them out very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that grace rest upon you, representing your family. Representing your family. Every family that has been tied down. You have lost things, you have lost people, you have lost opportunities. I bring you the restoring power of Jesus. The restoring power of Jesus. The restoring power from the front to the back. Whether you are an usher or not, please help them. In the name of Jesus, I bring you restoration. Even as revealed by the Spirit of the living God. Restoration. 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 Come up and sing for me that song you sang on restoration. The song you just sang now. Where's to sing? That song singing on restoration. Everything that was lost, restored. That's the grace that is resting upon you now. Everything that was lost, restored. Everything that was lost, restored. You will restore, restore. sing it I'm still praying in the name of Jesus every manipulation on the times of your destiny such that time has gone and you've not been able to achieve anything I place a mantle upon you tonight take that grace may that anointing rest upon you restoration 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 receive it in the name of Jesus Yeah. 
Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit the time has come. I don't know, I don't know who this word is for, but there is an anointing that is coming with this word. I'm seeing the number 13. The Lord is saying the time has come. Receive that grace. Bring them out. Receive that grace. The time has come. It will not be delayed again. The time has come. The season has come. The time has come. The season has come by the Spirit of the living God. The time has come. The Bible says to appoint unto them that morning Zion. I prophesy to you as by the Spirit. The time has come. The time has come. The time of Pakatoshkete, a Prekete Katosia. The time has come in the name of Jesus. For someone is a time for laughter. For someone is a time for resurrection. For someone is a time for advancement. But by all means, I speak to your spirit. The time has come in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, John remain in the wilderness until his season of appearing. When your time has come, it also means every closed door must open. Please be serious tonight. Let your heart be open in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice, for as long as you are connected here, in the name of Jesus, if there is a door that has been closed by witchcraft, hear me, closed by the manipulations of men, in the name of Jesus, that door opens now. 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 Hallelujah. Devon. And I'm seeing fire coming on their hands physically. Physically. And the Lord is telling me, for some of you by this impartation, jobs, even jobs you did not apply for. Your hand is a symbol of productivity. Right now, eight of them, I don't know where you are. May that fire locate your hands. Locate your hands in the name of Jesus. Compelling productivity. Compelling productivity. Compelling productivity. Compelling productivity in the name of Jesus Christ. God alone. Oh, he is God and God alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Now unto, unto the man upon the throne. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you prophetically. Welcome to a new season. I stand upon the grace of the man of God and his wife and I declare, household of David, welcome to a new season. In the name of Jesus, the sound of mourning, the sound of shame, the sound of languishing, the sound of defeat, the sound of discouragement comes to an end now. We raise a new sound, a sound of prosperity, a sound of increase, a sound of righteousness, a sound of speed, a sound of restoration, a sound of laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ.
for some of you right here before you get home tonight in the name of Jesus the son of the living God your testimony will be waiting for you the Lord is lifting you we're wrapping up and I am strong when I am on your shoulder you raise me up and I am strong when I am on your shoulder you raise me up God is not a man that he should lie God is not a man that he should lie God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent God is not a man that he should lie everything God has told you in your lifetime you will see it come to pass let me shake unbelief everything God has told you provided your spirit received it in your lifetime you will see it come to pass everything God has told you I'm prophesying to you that in your lifetime my God will make you see it come to pass if he says you are lifted in your lifetime you will see yourself lifted if he says you will laugh in your lifetime you will laugh Do you believe this? When God speaks, He speaks because there is an ability behind His word that compels what He has said to come to pass. Hallelujah. If you ever hear God utter a word as a revealed word to you in your spirit or on the strength of the, an encounter with Scripture, you must know that at the back of all the speakings of God is the power to bring it to pass. It says, blessed is she that believes for unto her, it does not just stop at believing, there shall be a performance, not of everything, but of those things that were spoken by the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to encourage you, it's an unusual service, shake away unbelief. Don't come and waste your time spectating. Don't come and waste your time doubting. Will God touch me? Will he visit me? And don't just come to clap for others as wonderful as that is. Let there be an insistence, a holy anger, and a determination. Lord, something must happen to my life today. Lift your voice and pray. Something must happen to my destiny today. Someone who is serious with God, pray. Someone who is determined to leave this place rejoice in pray. Someone who is angry at the reign of darkness over your life pray. Let's see. 
There is a river that is flowing in this place tonight. I saw this vision while I was praying. Now I'm seeing the vision again. It's a river that was in Ezekiel 47 flowing from the east side of the temple, flowing to destinies, flowing to lives, flowing to businesses. The river that flows from the throne bringing life to everything that has died, bringing life to every dead organ, bringing life to every dead cell, bringing life to every dead business, bringing life to every dead destiny. Hear ye the word of the Lord, that which was dead comes alive now, that which was dead comes alive now, that which was dead comes alive now. That which was dead comes alive now. Dead organs, they come alive now. Dead businesses, they come alive now. Dead destinies, they come alive now. Dead prayer lives, dead passion for the things of God. Hallelujah. presence of God is mighty even in this place you are not wasting your time immersed in his presence immersed in his glory 
That is where miracles happen. That is where signs and wonders happen. That is where transformation, encounters happen. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. So I pray up tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Ah. Let it cover. here and you're using a stretcher or you're using a walking stick you cannot walk stand up and begin to walk now stand up and begin to walk now Shabalakum begin to do what you could not do now begin to do what you could not do now begin to do what you could not do now begin to do what you could not do now there's someone you could not move your hands it's like you had a problem I want you to begin to move those hands now move your hand do what you could not do the healing power of Jesus is already touching people touching people in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone you are following online you have a problem with your neck I don't know it's like you have the neck bracelets in the name of Jesus begin to turn it left and right left and right the power of God is upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 before we sit down all those that the power of God will come on now I will tell you what the impartation is for and then that grace will rest upon them and then will be seated this is holy ground and if you come here you must come believing you must come expecting hallelujah whilst the worship team were singing about restoration I heard loud in my spirit and I will restore. And I will restore. Now I know that 
this applies to everybody but there are specific families that God wants to visit right now and the power of God will come on them I want you to bring them out right now in the name of Jesus every family that has been ordained for restoration by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare may that grace rest upon you now please bring them out very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ let that grace rest upon you representing your family representing your family every family that has been tied down you have lost things you have lost people you have lost opportunities I bring you the restoring power of Jesus the restoring power of Jesus the restoring power from the front to the back whether you are an usher or not please help them in the name of Jesus I bring you restoration even as revealed by the Spirit of the Living God restoration 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 come up and sing for me that song you sang on restoration the song you just sang now where's to sing that song singing on restoration restore. everything that was lost restore that's the grace that is resting upon you now everything that was lost restore sing it I'm still praying in the name of Jesus every manipulation on the times of your destiny such that time has gone and you've not been able to achieve anything I place a mantle upon you tonight take that grace may that anointing rest upon you restoration 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 receive it in the name of Jesus spirit the time has come I don't know I don't know who this word is for but there is an anointing that is coming with this word I'm seeing the number 13 the Lord is saying the time has come receive that grace bring them out receive that grace the time has come it will not be delayed again the time has come the season has come the time has come the season has come by the spirit of the living God the time has come the Bible says to appoint unto them that morning Zion I prophesy to you as by the spirit the time has come the time has come the time has come the time has come, the time has come. The time has come. in the name of Jesus for someone is the time for laughter for someone is the time for resurrection for someone is the time for advancement but by all means I speak to your spirit the time has come in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says 
John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing. When your time has come, it also means every closed door must open. Please be serious tonight. Let your heart be open in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice, for as long as you are connected here, in the name of Jesus, if there is a door that has been closed by witchcraft, hear me, closed by the manipulations of men, in the name of Jesus, that door opens now. physically physically and the Lord is telling me for some of you by this impartation jobs even jobs you did not apply for your hand is a symbol of productivity right now eight of them I don't know where you are may that fire locate your hands locate your hands in the name of Jesus compelling productivity compelling productivity compelling productivity compelling productivity in the name of Jesus Christ we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you